Hello friends, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Sumit and this is my new video in Salesforce development. In my previous video, I demonstrate you how to open a pop-up box by using scripting and by using action support. In this video, I will be going to demonstrate you how to open a pop-up box by using JavaScript and Apex programming on a Visual Force page. So let me show you my business requirement. That's my business requirement that whenever I run a Visual Force page, that Visual Force page will provide one button named as show screen, labeled as show screen. And when I click on that show screen button, a pop up will open. And in this pop up, there will be a label and a comment. And if any one of is missing, the message will not saved. And once you provide both the label and as well as the comment and click on OK button, this pop up message will be stored. So th this kind of scenario can be used to add some additional comment related with a record if we want to add some additional comments with a record. So this kind of example can be used in such a scenario. So let's have a look how we can develop this kind of functionality in our program so first of all we'll be going to load salesforce i'm going to open salesforce and within salesforce first i'm going to create one say visual force page so i create one visual force page i'm going to use the url method of creating a visual force page so i create epic slash sample pop-up page So I create this page. And then I remove all the existing text which are available. Let's start customization. So first of all, I assign one ID to this page name as PG. Then I add a controller here. Controller. I'm using controller because I would like to implement my custom functionality. So pop-up screen controller then apex colon form because I'm going to use button so ID is equal to FRM within this form I'm going to create apex colon page block and I set the title to this page block as pop-up example and assign one ID is equal to page block within this page block I add one section for messages so apex colon page messages this will display any error message up here so ID is equal to ID is equal to MSG error message or if any message we need to display we want to display so we can use this section to display the messages then I'm going to create one apex colon command button value is equal to show value is equal to show and on click so on click I'm going to call one JavaScript function so I create one I specify one JavaScript function name which I'm going to create in scripting code on then and once it is completed so on complete on complete refresh so it will refresh the application then I create script slash script okay so we are getting one error message it means something is missing so on click open pop-up and so I was missing I missed this exclamation double quote sign so that's why you can see the text is something different so I add this double quote sign here now it's working fine a script slash a script and the type of this script will be I said type is equal to text slash JavaScript here I create a variable where 
pop-up box where str reason where str comment pop-up box is equal to new simple dialog it will create a simple dialog test and set as false then pop-up box dot create dialog it will call the function dialog function I'm going to create one function here function open pop-up function so basically this function we are going to call so open open pop-up function this function we are going to define here open pop-up function and within this function we'll be going to call the dialog so I write pop-up box dot set title pop-up example pop-up box dot import content node document dot get element by ID and double quotes in this double quotes I break curly braces and dollar component dot pop up box then pop up box dot show so it will show the pop up box after this when the pop-up function will be called I create few more functions like function call reason call reason and in this I pass one parameter str reason is equal to reason then I'm going to create one more function function call comment cmnt str comment is equal to cmnt finally I'll create one more function check reason that was the reason so to check the reason I'll check here that if str reason dot length greater than zero and str comment dot length greater than zero then it will submit standard pop-up rejected dot str comment comma str reason and it will hide the pop-up box so I just hide it pop-up box dot hide else it will show the alert please select reason or enter comment so this will validate if the field is blank or not so if the reason or the comment any one of them is blank it will display alert message please select reason or alert comment else it will uh, hide the pop-up box so this will execute and it will hide the pop-up box so finally after a script we are going to add the output panel to display some messages and also I display fx colon output panel and I set as style is equal to display none I again create one more output panel fx colon 
output panel id is equal to pop up box basically we are creating one id we are creating a, a pop up box which we are going which will be going to display then reason and nvsp this is for space so if the error is there so watch the reason so i copy this paste four three four times slash b then i create apex colon input text id is equal to reason value is equal to txt reason on change i just write it again on change it should be in small on change it will call reason so call reason and it will pass the parameter to it this dot value so basically this will call reason function call reason function and this function takes one parameter so this value will be passing to that function call value and i set the style style is equal to width 100% and then i add the so basically i am going to add two breaks dr then for comments so again i start a block b slash b and here i write comments then apex colon So I write here apex colon input text id is equal to comment value is equal to text comment on change it will call the comment on blur it will again call comment style is equal to height 100 px and width 100 px and then we have a button here this is for okay button we need to add a cancel button as well so you can see here i have added one okay button and one cancel button so okay button it will check the reason and cancel button it will hide the pop up then action function i will specify action function submit standard pop up and this will call the action submit standard pop up so this submit standard pop up function basically it will call the default action this will submit standard pop up this will call this action and then it will re-render msg so this will render the message screen so that this will is re-render msg section so the message section will refresh then i said three parameters status comment and reason now when i saved it it will throw an error message that the class does not exist the controller class does not exist so i'm going to create that controller class named as pop up screen controller and in this pop up screen controller i will be going to implement the custom logic so i'll load that class and in this class i'm going to i'm going to create or i'm going to write my custom logic so first of all i create a string here public a uh, new variable name is string variable text reason and get and set property same for comments public string text comment get and set property then i'm going to create one function named as pop up screen controller pop up screen controller pop up screen controller and in this text i set the values text reason is equal to so basically it's a constructor and text comment is equal to blank so i set the blank value then i create one function which with null return type and the function name is public void submit standard pop up that's the function name which we define in 
Visual Force page and this will call string status well is equal to epix pages dot current page dot get parameters dot get status so it will return status similar way i want the reason and the comment value so i'll copy this and store into reason value and comment value so i store it two times and this one is status well so instead of status well this one be reason well and this one be comment well and then instead of status get status reason and this one be comment and then i'm going to validate it that if if reason well not equal to null if they are not if it is not blank and reason well dot trim dot length greater than zero and oh it's maybe in the it's in double quotes and then for same for reason well i'll go for comment well I'll copy this, paste it, and this one be comment well. Comment well. And this one also comment well. Dot trim length greater than zero. Then it will be going to add a message that your message added successfully. Or simply record save. So apex pages dot add message new apex pages dot message apex pages dot three dot info it's a kind of an info type and the message will be record saved so that's all let's test it so in order to test it i will save it and let's have a look if there is any error so if there is no error the class will be created and visual force will be page will be saved successfully and let's test it so for testing it i'm going to click on this button show a screen button and according to the scenario it will load a pop-up page and if you do not specify reason or comment if i'll say reason is there let's say issue with record but there is no comment or if i cancel this it will do nothing or if I'll say reason is there, but there is no, sorry, if I'll add a comment issue with my record and click on OK. So you see I got an error message, please select reason or enter comment. So we need to specify reason here, issue. And once I click on OK, I got a message record saved. So it is just for information record has been saved. We are not storing the record somewhere else. I'm just displaying the message here. But in real time, we can store the records in our data set. We can create a new object name as error issue uh, issues raised by the client issues raised by the customer. And then we can save the record, save the issues which are raised by the customer, which are passed through the comments. We can store them into an object. So that's how we can create a pop-up dialog box we can get the inputs from the user as a comments and reasons by using a pop-up dialog box using javascript and apex classes without using css style sheets so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bsptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel if you want to know more about from us keep watching have a nice day goodbye